Well, hey there, everybody, and welcome back to Tired Tigers Playground. That's right. Two boxes in one day. Both videos are not coming out on the same day, I tell you that. I'm going to save it for another day. This is an order from Chicago Knife Works. Man, I really need to go to Knife at Dick's Anonymous. For sure. We're going to open this up with the backwards Barlow. Rough Rider. Use that little pin blade. Let's get some tape crap all over it. Yeah, um, you know, I've ordered so much from Red Hill. I didn't think I'd order anything from Chicago. There's a few things I wanted. And guess what? I've already placed another order. I wanted a Zippo. There's a few things that I wanted to get. So what do we got? So we got a Zippo. Got, <clears throat> it's a, my first Italian knife. It's a Mercury. Which is interesting. It's a lot like a Swiss Army knife, except it has a few extra tools and um, it was a heck of a lot cheaper. Rough Rider RR198. That's an old one. Um, we got a Mustang. I guess it is Mustang. It's basically a Frost. Got another Rough Rider Outdoorsman series. RR1070. Got another Ocoee River. I think to replace the one that I'd given Randy. And my first Tater Skin Brown Burlap Makata series. RR2338. Let's get into it. Am I recording? Good. Let's let's do my first tater skin. Like I said, RR2338. I wanted a tater skin. I wanted this for a, a while. I was a little reluctant. It has a stamp on the front bolster and a shield. But uh, RJ keeps showing his. And it looks really nice. This is like their mousse. So it's got... You know, it's what's cool, and what I thought was cool is like, see how low the, the nail nicks are in there? They actually recess. Oh, they didn't recess this side. Actually, they did just a hair. I feel dip, just a hair there. And, and I'm not too big on the cigar shape, but I wanted one tater skin, and this is, you know, they're, they're going out. And I'm a, I'm a trapper fan, so it's kind of like a trapper. You got your clip point with swedging. You got black G10 underliners, uh, nickel silver bolsters, nickel silver pins, brass back spring liners. Ooh, nice, nice pull, nice half stop. You know, for twelve dollars and change. And it's funny that I had ordered this, and now Rosecraft is coming out with one very similar, but instead of a giant spay blade, it is a Kind of a sheep's foot, Warren Cliffish. Um, but those are going to be sixty-seven dollars. A nice gray bone. I probably will pick up one for sure because I love Rosecraft. Um, but this is, you know, under thirteen dollars. It's got to be at least four inches, maybe longer. Nice blade stock, thick blade stock there. Probably needs to be cleaned out a bit. I didn't check blade centering. Great blade centering. You know, Rough Riders, for the price, can't get be beat. I've been collecting a lot more case. Um, but when it comes to grabbing a knife to go to work on a rainy job site, I'm going to grab something like this. If it slips out of my hand and drops, I'm not going to cry over a $13 knife. Really nice tater skin. Yeah, I gotta get through this before Brad comes over for the knife party. He'll be upset that I opened all these without him here. He'll get to see him, but guess what? He doesn't have any here, so I can open it up. Akoe River Barlow. Like I said, I had one of these already before. I wanted to gift it to Randy's WSG because it's such a beautiful, beautiful green. It's almost like a lizard skin. 
course, there's no burn on it. And it was funny. I didn't realize it. So this is the Arcoe River Barlow. Uh, main blades, pretty decent. And the pen blades off to the pile side, they're decent Barlows. Like I said, I had a green one. And I wanted to gift it to Randy. I did not want to order another one and wait for this to get in and then send it to him. So I sent him mine, which was unused. Uh, their blade grinds aren't the best. You can see how it's heavy here and it thins out. But these are $11. Not the smoothest action. You do generally need to clean these. But they look a lot like a Case $72 Marlow, except they're made in China. Looks like we have a little gapping in there. It's the usual, but it's a good user Marlow. And I have like the blue and the buffalo horn and uh, the ox horn, the caliber uh, black pick bone, and uh, the Mardi Gras. And it's like, well, I gotta have the green one because these all sell out and this was one of the last colors that they had and they still had it. So for like $10 and change, I think maybe it was $11 and change, I had to get one. And I had sent Randy his and I didn't even notice, but here on the bolster, it was like a rough, like they didn't finish polishing it. And Randy was joking that it was like jigging. I don't know if it was on this side, it must've been on this side because I had, didn't even notice it as long as I had it. And I sent it to him and he did a video and I saw that and I'm like, oh man, and this one doesn't have it. So Randy, if, if you want one without some jimping, <laughs> as you called it, which is basically an unfinished Barlow, um, I'll send you this one, but had to get it that, you know, I'm not a huge green fan, but this green, when I first saw it, it's just like, wow, let's get it in the light there. It's just that bright green like case. Like I said, it's not burnt though. You can almost, in the jigging, you can almost see some blue in there. And for freaking $11, just to have to have in the collection. Now I've been collecting more American made Barlow's um, Queen and case. So did I need this? No, I did not need it. But, you know, in the spirit of my old collection, I had to get the green. It's gonna be a long video. Well, let's see, I did a Rough Rider, I did a Frost. Let's do another Rough Rider. Let's do the Outdoorsman series, RR1070. I have the Outdoorsman Trapper, full-size Trapper, and it's really beautiful tobacco bone. Um, this is, what I liked about this is it is also tobacco bone, and it also has the Acorn Shield. Wow, look at that. Um, it's a lockback, and this is my first lockback trapper. And another thing I liked about it, besides it, you know, not having a lockback trapper, which is kind of cool, is it's not a four and a quarter or four and an eighth, and it's not a mini trapper. It's not three and a half inches close. It's like 3.88. So it's that kind of medium trapper. It's like we got a thread in the front and rear bolster. Looks like the main blades, oh, well, it was off to the show side. No, it kind of is. Hopefully it's not rubbing. And the spay blade, well, I guess they move around in there. So, just have to be careful opening, closing. So the spay blade does not have a lock. It's just normal, no half stop. And yes, it's kind of on the liner there. So I'll get some rub, but this was like $9. And I wanted a matching one to my full-size trapper. That tobacco bone is, Rough Rider just does an amazing job on their tobacco bone. Look at that. I love it. It's just a beautiful amber. I have the mini cotton sampler. I have the full-size trapper. And I think I just ordered a Outdoorsman trapper lock. It's the one-hand opening one with a, like a liner lock which I never liked the look of those because they didn't have a nail nick, but hey, oh yeah, you gotta use the backlog. But hey, uh, you know, it's different variations, you know. Now this, the shield's not totally flush. This isn't a review. 
just an unboxing here. Really cool. And this is kind of an older one. I wanted to get them before they went out of stock. Literally like, actually this might've been $12 and change, maybe 13 on the pricier side with that lock bag. Hold on one second. Wow, already 10 minutes into it. Let's show the Zippo. Boom. The Ace of Spades. Rusty Miner got one of these. It is like a black chrome. Um, and I just love the detail in it. You can see. Um, it was not $38.95. That's what's so cool about Chicago Knife Works. See, this is almost a $40 Zippo. Got it for like $21, $22. You know, and if you can find really nice Zippos for $20, it's a really good deal. I've kind of been collecting a few more Zippos. I had five and I got the Tiger Tattoo. I wanted to get this one. Rusty Miner had gotten it. I have the uh, Black Appaloosa Spade Series. And also, I got the Savage Creek by Rosecraft, and it has a spade shield. So this is my matching Zippo. Like I said, they're usually, look at, almost 40 bucks. And I have another one on the way. Okay. Well, let's go into this Mercury. Now, Mercury is made in Italy. What do they call this? This is, or they just call it a pocket knife with six implements. It's olive wood handle. Now I've been eyeing this for a while. I'm not really into like the campers knives. And like I said, I'm not really into Swiss army knives that much, uh, but I do have a couple of tinkers and they, and they work well. I do have a trapper with a fork and a knife. These were like $20, $21. Um, and like I said, I did not have an Italian made knife. Mercury, Italy. Um, so I don't know how well their steel is. It feels really sharp. It, it reminds me of a Swiss Army knife. You know, you got your wine bottle opener, you got your little tiny key ring lanyard. Um, and this is a lot less than a tinker. And I think I just got it because it was $20 in beautiful olive wood and I didn't have an Italian knife. Um, also, there's a feature I'll show you that I, another reason I got it. So they have these in real bone stag for 50 bucks, 55, maybe $56. And I almost got that, but I'm like, you know, I, I probably just use this camping. The bone stag is nice, but I'll just spend $20. The wood is really light, beautiful olive wood. Got a can opener here, actually looks kind of sharp. Eh, a little dull. This one comes with a fork. Now it's a small fork and it's kind of cool. It's got a nail nick in the fork to pull it out. Pickle fork, but it's a fork. That's something my Swiss Army knife does not have. It's something other camping knives don't have. Oh, I've already showed that one. Let's just pull them all out. Yeah, bottle opener, can opener. You got a flat head. And you get your wine bottle opener. Look at that. And on top of the wine bottle opener, you have... I guess you open it from this side. Don't cut myself. A different shaped leather punch all. So Mercury, yeah, they make some really cool fixed blades, actually. Small fixed blades that were about $100 when they came out. I think they're on sale for $60. I'm not a huge fixed blade fan, but I've been eyeing those. But what's unique about this camp knife is the fork. And it's lightweight. It's a beautiful smooth wood. It's made in Italy. $21. Uh, Chicago Knife Works fluctuates in price daily, it seems like. There's some Barlow's I were look, was looking at that were $72, and they dropped down to $68.50, and they bounce back and forth. So you just gotta wait till it goes down and then press buy. Very cool camp knife. I think Michael at Rasputin's Castle would really like this one. 
20 bucks. Okay, lost two knives. We're already on 15 minutes here. It's gonna be a long video. Hey, and by the way, um, my last unboxing I did, it, uh, I had the Buck 55 from my friend. I noticed it didn't come with a sheath. Well, I read up, the Buck 55 is designed to be carried in the pocket. No clips, no sheath. And I, I saw that on the Buck website and I, you know, it just doesn't come with a sheath. So that's an expensive knife. They're like $70. Expensive small knife for not having a sheath. You can get a Buck 112 finger grooves with a sheath for the same price. I think it's a better deal, but, <clears throat> um, you know, uh, the buck 55 is a gentleman's carry. It's a half 110 and to each your own. And that's what my friend wanted us for his birthday. What have we here? This is a uh, Mustang made by Frost. <clears throat> and this is the locking copperhead. Now, I have two of these. I have the blue one. And I have the multicolored one, and that's all they had for the longest time. And I remember seeing these on Jolly Peanut. Um, I have the matching, this is called Mojave Bone, where the bolsters are stamped like this. Um, beautiful bone on these. It's got the Mustang Shield USA. It's not made in USA. It's made in China, if you can see there. Um, I have the matching trapper good lock up on this. I've seen some where you do have some blade play. Good lock up on this. These are really nice, small locking copperheads. And it locks, if you don't know, with the Warncliffe. You push the Warncliffe in, unlocks it. This one has a half stop. I don't know if my other ones have a half stop. It's kind of cool. And the secondary blade, like I said, it's the Warncliffe. They always put a little sticker on these, say Rockwell tested 56 to 58 Rockwell hardness. They're just 440A stainless, but I like the size. They're a good small pocket carry. And um, I like the fact that it's a copper head, see? And it's locking. The case doesn't do anything like this. The case has the copper head, and then they have the copper lock, which, are, which is a mid lock. So very unique. I love the bone on this. So for some reason, these came back in stock. Look at the fit and finish on this. Look at that back spring. Maybe a gap right there. I don't see any light through it. It almost looks like there is a gap there. It's probably filled with dirt right now until I clean it. But uh, yeah, they came back in stock, so I couldn't buy fast enough. Because I've always wanted one of these, and I'm like, oh, well, they're out of stock. They're not going to get any more. I don't know how, how, or, how or why they got them. Um, it looks like there's a little gap under the bone right there. Uh, but geez, $10. I think they're actually on sale for $9 and change right now. Cool knife. Okay. Last one. It's going to be a 20 minute video. Brad's going to roll up on his motorcycle. Let's get this over with. Rough Rider. It's an old one. RR198. This is another one I've wanted for a while and uh, they're out of stock and I'm like, oh, they're never going to get them in stock. All it is, is a smooth white bone Barlow and it's so old, it's got the horseshoe Rough Rider stamp on the front bolster. It's beautiful smooth white bone. Wow. Perfect back spring on this. I really like Rough Rider Barlows. Looks like the main blade's off to the pile side. No half stop. And it's just a Barlow. Like I said, what's cool about this white bone is you can dye it any color you want. You get some spotting in there. Probably needs to be cleaned out. Yeah, we're probably gonna get a little, maybe a little blade rub on the liners there. And the pen blade, which is interesting. I read some reviews that said that the main blade was tucked back behind the pen blade so much. I think the old one, the main blade was on the other side. And that's what the pictures show. But this is kind of like the newer style with the main blade on the show side. 
But somebody was saying, yeah, the main blade was stuck back behind the pin blade so much they couldn't grab and pull it out. Well, that's not the case with this, obviously. Um, I don't know how many Rough Rider Barlows I'm going to collect, but like I said, I've wanted this for a, for a while. It's a nice, plain, and simple. I think it's like $9. Uh, obviously, you can grab both the blades just fine. Beautiful fit and finish. Like, look at those back springs. Compare this $10 bar Barlow to a case. Not too huge of a difference. Doesn't have half stops. Doesn't say case. It's not made in the USA. But it's a 440A razor sharp stainless steel. Feels as sharp as my case. True sharp. It's just made in China. Pins are really flush on this. I'll have to do review another time. This video is at 20 minutes. Thank you for joining me, everybody. You have a fantastic day. Stay sharp. Be kind. Take chances.